Hi, and welcome to another episode of Coffee with Coatney. I'm Terry Coatney, and I'm a realtor with Caldwell Banker with offices in Marietta, Ohio, and in Vienna, West Virginia. We've been talking in a series of videos all about the home buying process and some secret little tips or things that people typically don't think about when buying a house. Just to review, some of the things that we've talked about is check for uh, the availability of good internet in case you have to work for home or in the future when you have to sell the property and you may need to find a buyer that needs to work at home. What about Amazon deliveries? Can you get deliveries from uh, uh, things that you order on the internet? Um, you have to consider about noise pollution. Is is it near a rain track, a racetrack, or or a uh, busy thoroughfare, or in the flight path of a, of the airplane? So, and then also uh, we've talked about different things like the quality of the air and the water. All those things need to be tested, and then. When you're buying a house, you have to think about the maintenance that's involved with the house, and we went over some of those items. Today, let's just talk about some of the finances that are involved with the house. When you're buying the house, one thing you don't want to do is at the end of the day, have a lifestyle that is really diminished because of your cash flow. So you need to develop a spreadsheet with all the different costs associated with your house. First of all, there's the initial cost of buying the house, and that will include the appraisal, the inspection, uh, and any of those, uh, the title search, and all those things associated with the closing costs, and perhaps even a down payment. Then when you buy the house, what are the expenses that you're going to have to um, keep up the, with the everything and still have enough money to live the kind of life that you want to live? Also, when you're thinking about the finances, one of the things that plays into that, if you're buying a condo or a house that has an HOA associated with it, what does, how much is that HOA? Is there a possibility of it going up? Is there any assessments that may be coming? Sometimes in, within those HOAs, there's uh, road maintenance agreements, and then if it, to repair the uh, road, whatever that figure is, there's an assessment and everybody gets charged that. So all those different things that you have to think about. And if you're thinking about buying a house or a condo, find out what the different interest rates are associated with each one. Sometimes one of them is higher than the other, typically the condo, than a first-time home buyer's uh, loan. So anyway, those are some of the things to think about. And hopefully, you, if you have any questions, if you're thinking of buying or selling, you can give me a call. I'll be glad to share the information and help you with the process, whether you're buying or selling. Hope you're having a great day, and I look forward to talking to you soon.